How's everyone doing today? Anthony Napolitano here and today I'm going to be teaching you the five step system and I really believe this is the key in launching someone's network marketing business. I've been using this system for about five years now. I actually joined the industry about seven years ago but this system I've actually applied it over the last five years to build a multi-million dollar business around the world and I can tell you guys it's a simple system but simple systems duplicate. If you think about the most successful businesses in the world you know look at McDonald's the most successful fast food chain in the history of the world. It's basically the most successful restaurant in the history of the world. Why is that? Because they have a simple system. You go into a McDonald's, right? You look at the place, it's exactly the same as everyone else. They got a multi-billion dollar business ran by teenagers because of the system they created. Everyone watching this video can go create a better burger than McDonald's, but they created a system, okay? That is key and that's what we're going to be teaching you today. So this is the five step system. Step one, okay? Step one, set up your services, you know, start using your products, whatever the case may be. Engage in what you're purchasing because I can tell you guys, happy customers lead to residual income in network marketing. And always remember, 80% of the people that ever join a network marketing business are just joining to be customers. They might click affiliate, right? But truly, they're just joining to be customers. So getting people engaged in the services is key. Understand, you pay your cell phone bill every single month because you see the value in your cell phone. You pay your gym membership because you see the value in the gym. You pay your Netflix or your Amazon because you see the value in the subscription. Well with us, same as that concept. If people see the value in the product or the service, they're gonna pay each and every month. So the first thing is get them engaged in the products, make them fall in love in the pro with the product. And I can tell you guys, happy customers lead to great distributors because when people are enjoying something, they're naturally gonna wanna share it. And of course guys, you cannot share something you know nothing about. So that is step one guys, step one again, set up the services, start using the products, whatever the case may be. That is the first step. Step two, make a list. Okay, making a list is huge because you need to have inventory. Let's say I own the McDonald's but I have no burgers. I can't make money. Well in this business, if we have no people to talk to, we can't make any money. I recommend your list being at least 200 names. Uh, go through friends, family members. I, I'd go through all different things. You know, your contacts in your phone, Instagram, Facebook, wherever the case may be, find as many contacts as possible. I say at least 200. They say the average person by 18 years old knows a thousand plus people by first name. Guys, you can write 200 names down. I also recommend some key points. I like to break my list up internationally and domestically. I like to separate it. When I started in this industry, I knew no one internationally. So if you're new today and you don't know anyone internationally, no problem. But if you do, separate the list. Internationally, domestically, I also recommend starring the top 20. The top 20 people that you think would be phenomenal at this business. And I actually like to start backwards to forwards. I start talking to people that I don't think would be interested. So I get really good at the third step, which is the invite, before I even approach them. But you have to have a list, guys, and you will never run out of names in this business. I'm telling you guys right now, some people get in network marketing, they're in the industry a few years, they're like, I've talked to everyone. You've never talked to everyone. One way to never run out of people, it's a very simple concept, whenever you get a no, you ask that person, say, hey, you know, this might not be for you, but can you recommend me three people that you think might be interested that you know? Most people, because of the guilt trip, are gonna share three friends' names with you, and that's three more people you could share the business with. And that's literally, without social media, without YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, that is literally just, you know, belly to belly business. Think about that guys, you will never run out of names in this business, especially if you're using the things that I'm talking about today. So step one, setting up the services. Step two, making a list because you have no business if you have no one to talk to. Step three, okay, the invite. And we always say in this business, you know, Eric Worre says it, you can make a million dollars in this industry just with the invite alone. If you could get people in front of the information, there's always gonna be people like myself and others that can explain the opportunity, but you gotta get them there. Some of the things that I recommend in the invite, I always say call never text. You know, some people are gonna argue about that, but I can tell you guys, uh, a text message cannot show tonality. Uh, let's just say apostrophe letters, right? Uh, let's just say exclamation points. That stuff's not gonna show excitement. If you call up a friend or a family member or someone you have a personal relationship with and you change your tonality, let's say you're typically loud, hey, you know, I got something going on. Maybe you're quiet, right? If you're typically quiet, yo, you can't believe what's going on right now. Changing your tonality is key because you're gonna draw them into the conversation and they're gonna wanna learn more. So I always say text, or never text, always call. I always say be the preview, not the movie. I also recommend the phone call last no more than 30 seconds. And guys, you need to just understand you need to give the attention to someone else in the beginning because you don't have the credibility. You don't have the results yet. So you wanna throw all the leverage on someone else. 
Let them know that, hey, it's just not you doing this. There's other people and there's people that can actually teach them to help them get to where they wanna be. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick example of an invite. We're actually doing a call tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna give you a simple invite, how to get someone to the call and to the information so you could have success. Let's just say, for instance, I'm calling up a buddy, right? I'm gonna be calling him up. Yo, what up, Mike? I'm actually walking to the gym right now, man. I only have about 30 seconds. I was just wondering what you're doing tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Mike's gonna answer back, oh, you know, I don't know, man. What's up, man? Hey, I'd actually love to get your opinion on something that I'm working on. Could you carve out about 30 minutes to be free? I'm actually gonna send you a Zoom link. It's gonna explain everything. Well, Ant, what is it? Mike, it's actually 90% visual. That's why I'm sending you the link. Like I said, just 30 minutes, you'll understand everything. I would love to get you on there because I want your opinion. After the call, just follow up with me. Cool. Like that simple, guys. And if they ask you, hey, like, what is it? Like I said, it's 90% visual. That's why I'm sending you a link. And if they argue after that, okay, let's just say, man, I'm not getting on the webinar. You gotta tell me what's going on. You do not get into the information. You do not get into, oh, your product, your service, oh, Forex, crypto, oh, whatever the case may be, right? You don't get into these different topics because guess what? When you start answering questions, you're gonna keep getting more and more questions. And if you can't answer a question, you lose all your credibility. So be the preview, not the movie. All you're doing is connecting dots. You're getting someone from point A to point B, and guess what? You're letting the system work for you. So let's do this one more time. Let's just say I'm calling up someone. Look at some of the key points that I did as well. I told that person I'm walking into the gym right now, I only got 30 seconds. So they already know this phone call is not gonna be long. I also, what did I do? I cleared their schedule. I make sure they're free. If they're not free this day, guess what? I'm gonna schedule them for a day that they are free, okay? If the person does ask me what's going on, hey, I say it's 90% visual. I'm not gonna get into the information. And what also do I do? I ask for opinions. When you ask for opinions, you will get dollars. When you ask for dollars, you're gonna get opinions. You guys wanna make a lot of money in this world, you wanna ask for opinions. People love to talk. You ever go around you know, a group of people and they love talking about other people? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Maybe one of you watching this video. But I understand, guys, people love to give their opinion. So ask someone for their opinion, right? It's very, very simple to do. So let's just run it through one more time. Hey, Mike, I'm actually busy right now, man. I'm actually walking into the gym, but I was wondering what you're doing tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Mike answers back. And I don't really have anything planned. What's up, man? Hey, I'd actually love to get your opinion on something that I'm working on. If you're free for about 30 minutes, I'm gonna send you a link that will explain everything. Well, Ant, like, wh what is it, man? Hey, it's actually 90% visual. That's why I'm sending you a link and not trying to explain anything over the phone. Well, Ant, you know, man, tell me what it is. Guys, some people are just gonna be like, okay, cool, send the link. It'll be done. But if someone's, let's say they're breaking you. They're like, Ant, tell me what it is, man, or I'm not getting on. Hey, Mike. It's all right, man. If you can't carve out 30 minutes, I have two other people already asking me for the link, but I thought of you first because I truly wanted your opinion, but no problem. I'm going to send it to someone else. Take the opportunity away. You're the boss. You want to make millions of dollars. You got to be the boss. You got to be the leader, right? So understand that it's so important. You have the opportunity. What do they have? They have a nine to five job right now that they hate. You got the golden ticket. You got the way to get out of it. If they don't want to hear you out, hey, blow them off. Say, hey, no problem. I got two other people wanted to get on, I'm gonna actually share the link with them. Hey, you know, tonight I only can invite three people. You were gonna be the third one. I have another two people still asking me for it. Hey, if you can't get on, no problem, I'm gonna share it with someone else. I bet you that person in a week or two comes around and goes, hey, what was that the other night that you were trying to share with me? Instead of me trying to get the information to them right then at that moment and try to go for the kill and screwing up the conversation, maybe burning the relationship, I just wait for the right time, okay? This is strategic stuff that's gonna help you build a successful business. So step one, guys, setting up the services. Step two, mastering or basically creating the list. Step three, okay, the invite. Step four, this is edification, guys. Edification is huge. Like I said, in the beginning, you don't have the results people are looking for. I joined this industry when I was 18 years old. I had no credibility. I never even had a real job before this industry. So what did I have to do? I had to leverage someone else that I was learning from that could potentially help me get to where they're at in life. So this person could see that, hey, it's not just me teaching them. Man, I don't have the results you're looking for in life, but this person does and they're gonna teach both of us. That's what you're trying to do there. Uh, this is some of the keys, guys. Do not say this is my buddy, okay? This is my buddy, Anthony. Guys, who wants to listen to your buddy? Like seriously, do you wanna get on the phone and listen to your buddy? No. Well, what if you said, hey, this is my mentor, Anthony. Um, make sure when I get you on the phone with him, you're in a quiet area because he's actually willing to give me some of his time to help me get to where I wanna be in life, okay? His time is very valuable. 
I really do take it serious and I do not want to burn that relationship with him. So when I get you on the phone, act very professional and listen to him very closely. I didn't say this guy's a multimillionaire. I didn't say, you know, I didn't throw some crazy things out there to scare them away from who they're talking to, but I put importance on the speaker. You think they're gonna get on the phone a little differently when you say that instead of, this is my buddy. You know, they're, they're hanging out with their kids at a park. There's noises in the background. They're like, yeah, I, I can't even hear you. Yeah, yeah. Guys, don't waste people's time. Set it up the right way. A few words can completely change everything for you. A few little words can completely change your situation. I'm telling you that right now. How you approach things in life and coming at it at a different perspective can completely change the outcome. So that is key, edification is key. So let's go through this. Step one, setting up the services, engaging in the products, you know, understanding what you're paying for and seeing the value in it, making you wanna reorder it month in and month out without even a business model being attached to it. Step two, making that list, okay? You have to have people to talk to if you're gonna build a business. You know, McDonald's can't operate without burgers and fries. Well, guess what, in this business, we need people to talk to. We need names on a list. You'll never run out of names. Like I said, guys, how you never run out of names? Every no that you get. If someone says, I'm not interested in what you have going on, you never burn those relationships. You go, hey, no problem. Might not be the right time for you right now, but would you be willing to recommend me three people you think might be interested in what I have going on? The guilt trip for everyone, they're gonna give you three names. That's a potential three more clients in your business. So you'll never run out of people to talk to, okay? You're never gonna run out of it. Every no leads to three more potentials. So that's how we do this, guys. Be very, very smart. Step three, invite, guys. Be the preview, not the movie. Connect it from point A to point B. That's the goal. Get them in front of you know, people like myself that can explain the opportunity correctly so they can truly understand what's going on. Like we say in this business, you get paid to get you know, butts in seats and eyes on screens. That's what we get paid to do in this business. So mastering the invite is the key of that. From there, step four, edification. Understanding how to leverage someone else, putting the importance on the speaker. Think about this business, guys. You get to learn from people that have what you want from your first day. Every other industry in the world, you're never gonna work. You go to work at Walmart today, you're not gonna get advice from the CEO. They don't want you to take their job. In this industry, you get to work with the best of the best. Privileged, you know, you're so privileged to have that ability. Take advantage of it. And then step five, this is the golden ticket right here. So the first four steps are extremely important, okay? Extremely, extremely important. But step five, this is how we get paid. Step five is what we call the follow-up, okay? And I teach this, you know, all around the world to people. Follow-up, I teach a, a system called the Fam Bam from a meeting, book a meeting. Let's just say you got someone on a webinar tonight. Let's say you got them on that webinar, you invited them to that presentation that I was hosting. And after the webinar, okay, this is what you should be texting them. You're not gonna say, what did you think? Some of you out there right now, you text someone, what did you think? Guys, what did you think? Well, that could be, oh, I loved it. Oh man, what are you doing, right? That could go left or right. We control conversations. When you follow up with a prospect, let's just say you got them to that webinar and they saw the information. The first thing you should be saying to them is, let's get you started. Assume the sale. If you wanted to do it, why wouldn't they wanna do it? Guys, I'm gonna tell you, if you're unsure with yourself, people are not gonna be sure with you. Understand, you gotta be the controller, you gotta lead. People are looking for direction. The most successful people in the world, what do they do? They lead. You could be the worst rapper in the world, but guess what, if you could get an audience, you can make a lot of money. Lead. Lead, 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 lead. The world is filled with followers, become a leader. So, when someone sees the information, let's say they come to my office, we're at my office right now. They sit down, they see me present the business, they see another leader present the business. Right after it's over, the thing that you should be saying is, let's get you started. Let's get you started. That's what you should be saying. I don't want you to say anything else. Let's get you started with this business. Okay, assume the sale. Then, if a rebuttal comes, what's the most common rebuttal in the history of network marketing? I don't have the money. All right, that's no problem. When do you get paid next time from your job? Well, I get paid next Friday, okay. Well, what time next Friday is good for us to meet up so we can launch your business successfully? Guys, from a meeting, book a meeting. You never leave an appointment without the next appointment already being planned. This is how you're gonna make millions of dollars in this business. You wanna be an average networker when someone says, hey, you know, uh, I don't have the money. The average networker goes, oh, hit me up when you have the money. Well, guys, guess what? The girlfriend, the car, food, there's gonna be a lot of things that come between you and that money, guys. Understand, you have to control the conversation, you need to lead. So, when the person goes, I don't have the money right now, hey, well, when's the next time you get paid from your job? That should come out of your mouth right there. And then if they go, I don't have a job, well, what can we sell to get you started in this business? Because guys, you need to give people a game plan to succeed, a game plan to get started. 
be the direction they're looking for. This is all coming down to the same principles. So like I said again, just reiterating it. Hey, someone sees the opportunity. They get on a webinar. They come to this event in my office, right? Right after, let's get you started, okay? Not what did you think or, hey, d did you like it? Guys, that's gonna go one way or the other way. If you like the information, why wouldn't they like the information? I want you guys to think about this truly. So assume the sale, assume the sale. If there is a rebuttal, okay? The most common rebuttal in the history of network marketing is I don't have the money. Well, if they don't have, what if the another one, I don't have the time? Well guys, we're lucky in our business. We have services that you can set up 15 minutes and never touch it again and have the potential to make money. So we're blessed to do what we do in our company, but understand guys, you have to be ready for those and always from a meeting, book a meeting. If someone says, hey, you know, I love what you have going on. I'm just not ready to get started. I just don't truly understand something, okay? I don't understand the full messaging about what you guys do. You know, get them to the next resource. You got them to an in-person meeting. Maybe the next day, get them on a phone call with an upline. Maybe you got them on, you know, a presentation uh, online, right? Well, hey, from there, maybe get them on, you know, an in-person meeting. Whatever the case is, funnel them to more information so they get comfortable with what they have going on. I can tell you, the more times you do something, the more comfortable you get. The first time you go into your job, right, you walk in, you're like, what do I do? You know, you truly don't know what you're doing, but guess what, you've been working that job for three months, you just go in there, you don't even think about it, and you just go do what you do. So that's the same thing in this business. The more someone sees it, the more comfortable they can get with it. So that is the key, guys, and that is the follow-up and the money is made in the follow-up, I can tell you 80% of business across the board is completely identical, and one thing that most people lack in business is organization. The follow-up process is key. Write it down, be organized. I met with Mike today, I'm following up with him Wednesday. This is my schedule, because so many people get involved in network marketing, they talk to so many people the first few weeks, but they don't follow up with anyone, so they don't get anyone started. We don't get paid to talk to people, we get paid to get people into the system. We get paid to produce the company's sales. That's the key, guys, so let's review it, guys, one more time. Five-step system, setting up the services, engaging in the products, understand what you're paying for, showing the customer value in what they're using. Step two, making a list. If you don't have people to talk to, you have no business, right? You have to be able to go share the opportunity with others to produce sales to create residual income. Step three, the invite. Knowing how to connect point A to point B. Be the preview, not the movie. You're not explaining the opportunity. You're not going into detail about what you do and how it works. No, not at all. All you're doing is connecting dots because initially you can't explain everything. You don't know how everything works and if you answer something wrong, you're gonna lose your credibility. So all you're doing is being the preview, not the movie, doing the invite like we practiced earlier. If you guys want, just go back earlier in this video, watch it over and over and over again and get exactly down how to invite. I recommend also doing this with new members. You have someone join your team tonight. I created this five-step system so you could literally teach a new person in 30 minutes exactly how to build this business and they have the ability to go make money. If I'm gonna teach you things that took me seven years to learn, it's never gonna be duplicatable. It's simple things that you can duplicate efficiently. So master the invite. I can tell you, like Eric Worre says, I'm gonna reiterate it one more time, you can make a million dollars in this business just with the invite. There's always gonna be people that can present, like myself and many other leaders around the world, but you gotta get them in front of the information. That's key, you know, butts in seats, eyes on screens. Okay, that's what we're doing in this business. Get them the information. Step four, edification. Let them know who they're talking to. Put importance on the speaker so they take it very serious. And then step five, the follow-up, guys. And I can tell you, the fortune is in the follow-up. You hear that many, many times. That is so important. And organization is gonna lead to massive success in this business, guys. So that is the five-step system. Share this with your team. Share this with people all over the world because this is how you professionally and correctly launch a network marketing business.